the only thing I don't like now they have it instead of clipping it you screw it on here so it hinges up but um, it hits this housing on the rear <clears throat> all right so here's what we got um all right here's that that plate the hot racing plate which actually has um four aluminum poles right here that um screws from the underneath to mate the front with this plastic tub and then all these other screws that go in and then um this these go all the way through to the through the steering acumen and stuff um uh, i have i'm still in the process of it so i gotta button up a couple things but um i ended up going with the castle 2200 because as of now with the motor without batteries and the esc and servo it's exactly 16 pounds so i think it will be all right there um we put the hot racing sway bar on there that keeps a lot of the, the torque twist could just get some severe torque twist when you give it um give it gas as far as articulating it goes all the way to about there before the front end gets up and the back is right there so it's got really good shocks I like them and they it does bottom out It's just a double spring right there clicking when it goes all the way down. Alright, so here's what we got. Um, <clears throat> the transmission case is all hot racing. The motor mount and the motor pleat. Now, I put the plastic uh, spur cover on. I should have took it off so you could see in there. But just to... Uh, protect it from the wires hitting the um the steering acumen down here hot racing is a must I mean it's it's butter smooth there's no play in nothing it's really I mean I, I have to say hot racing makes awesome awesome parts I mean I'm talking everything the tolerance was down to the one hundredth. I I didn't have one problem bolting anything on. Um, their their finish is beautiful. <clears throat> they give you the hardware. They give you little buttons. You know what I mean? Little red buttons to dress it up. Um, rubber O rings. So uh, yeah, my hats off to uh, Hot Racing. They got really awesome shit. Now, um, we'll go underneath, but, uh, it comes stock with a 15 tooth, and, um, the inner transmission, see, there, there's good and bads on this kit, alright, let's, let's just put it out there, on this kit build, um, They have good and bad, but would I recommend this kit? Uh, I would recommend this kit only if you know you're going to up, upgrade this. Um, the steering, the rear sway bars, you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, all this stuff with the, the plastic is... I, I wouldn't get it. I mean, if, if you don't want to spend the money, don't get it. Because, um, it, it's night and day, I mean, pretty bad design as far as putting plastic where it shouldn't be, you know what I mean? Even if they would have put plastic, um, transmission or plastic rear or, 
anything that's spinning bearings and put um, some metal races into the plastic, that would be good. But, yeah, you can't put bearings into this thin, um, here, let me grab it real quick, hold on, I got a bag of stuff. Here's the transmission cover, alright? <clears throat> right here, these plastic races that hold that gear, even this, they, on, on this, this right here, they wanted you to put um, a plastic bushing in there, alright? On, on the metal one, I, I made a, I put bearings all in there. But, you can't put bearings in this thin plastic and expect this not to melt. And then the gears are not going to mesh and you're going to have problems. So, Axial should never even have come up with this design for this. You know what I mean? That, that part, I wouldn't recommend this kit. As far as the kit going together, dude, I mean, they were spot on. Everything was 100% lined up. I didn't have one problem with any hole lining up. Even this cheap battery tray holder, it came with, um, like, instead of metal wire for the hinge pin, it came with two plastic long pieces. But, I mean, once I, um... I put some grease, let it all in there, and it, it seals up and locks really good. I mean, I give them really good credit for this kit as far as um, buildable, a buildable kit. Um, durability issues, um, not so much on. So, But I, I knew that in advance, that's why I just bought all this from the beginning, but if I would, uh, if I was a normal person, just bought the kit and put it together, no, I would not be happy with it. I mean, there's a lot of parts that it's just ridiculous. Here's here's a good example right here. This main part is what this uh, aluminum piece is. Okay. All right. Now, this is important part is going to make make the front connect to the tub and this goes through your your steering and then they have these little ears right here these little that sleeve down that's why they on hot racing they give you aluminum posts so they want you to sleeve this down screw all these screws in and then this is this is the plastic right watch this look how thin this is look look I mean it's pliable I mean I don't know but I don't you know that's ridiculous you're gonna put one two three four five six seven eight twelve screws through this little piece of plastic to hold everything together yeah that's not gonna cut it so um, all right enough bitching about it but other than that um the kit's good, the shocks are good, um, but then again, the shock points here, they give you a little plastic insert, um, I went and bought, this is a big old aluminum piece that sleeves all the way through, and then um, I put a cap, a washer, and then that, so this ain't popping off. But if you would have went with their design, it's not good. Same with the front. Same with the front. I put a, a washer, this little black cap just to dress it up, and then sandwiched it in there. So, you know what I mean? I could tighten it down a little bit more. I still got to button, button things up on this. I'm, I'm going to put a little um, lock nuts on the back, too. <clears throat> but... So, alright. Let's get to the front. The front, we got the. Oh, that's a bit. Oh, is it this? Is that not that plastic piece? 
Yeah, I put it. Um, sorry about that. The front, we got the aluminum hub, but I, I mean hub carrier, but the actual hub itself still plastic because they didn't come in. Um, that they didn't have that in hot racing, so I had to order it from China, so it's not gonna be here for a while. But we'll just deal with that for now. RPM arms. Like I showed you in the last video, this uh, hot racing diff cases on both sides. There's no plastic. It's really awesome, and everything fit beautifully on it. All the gears inside this transmission are hot racing gears. So, um, just down, I'll flip it over. Alright, we have the hot racing arm bolted up to this um, RC four wheel drive. This is a metal rear. Um, Real drivetrain, the telescoping hot racing. That's another thing. This originally came with um, plastic, which is not good. You know what I mean? And uh, this through here, this all this hot racing is um, really going to be solid because like I said these two bolts go all the way through and hold these arms and then it's all one piece and comes here and then this is bolting all the way up to them um, four posts above and then here is for your steering Ackerman and I, I just can't get over how um how nice that is. I mean, there's not no slop at all. That's another thing on the kit. This plastic steering is just ridiculous. They want to turn a 16 pound truck with all this cheesy plastic with the servo saver? No, I don't think so. So, um. But, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, the upper and lower links to hold all this. Um, that's another thing. They have plastic, and that plastic is like so cheesy, it's ridiculous. So, how they think that was gonna hold is beyond me. So, um, it's like, like, like half the thickness of this aluminum, and it's plastic. So, let's see. Yeah, see the little red things, they give you little red washers, um, little rubber o-rings, and, um, the, um, these sway bar things right here, I just kept these stock, because there's not going to be any real pressure on these. And that's basically it, other than that, it's a piece. Um, this, this rear this rear is freaking awesome um i put everything in and it, it's just like so butter smooth it's just crazy now what i did hear from um somebody in this and they they had said they had nothing but problems so <laughs> i'm hoping i don't have problems after all this but Right here is a flaw point. There's a little um little o ring a little clip, a retainer clip that clips after the bearings. In the last video I showed you that the three bearing trick, they want you to put a piece of plastic, but um this is exposed, so what I'm gonna do is I'm cleaning this all up and I'm filling I'm filling this whole thing with liquid uh, electric tape, black, to keep all the dirt and debris out and seal it. Um, this will still turn inside, but 
Yeah, see, that'll still turn, but right around the bearings and stuff, I am um, going to fill in with elect uh, liquid electric tape. And the same thing with the, no, the front is sealed. Yeah, yeah, the front's good, I think. I don't know, i got to flip it. Hold on. Yeah, the front diff's a little bit different. I mean, dirt is not going to get in there as much as back here. It's all caked up. So, it is what it is. We have this little um, gas tank that's... Well, you don't do nothing with it. It's just hollow. They said you can put weight in it or whatnot. Or you can use it for... Um, the BEC battery if you want to run lights which is a pretty good idea but in order to get to it you gotta take all these screws off and then this bar off which in return has to take this off so it's not like it's easy access <clears throat> so. alright other than that it's um pretty much beast Everything came out good. We'll see how she runs. I'm gonna run it real um I got the uh, Savox going in there. Alright. I know a lot of people been wanting to put uh three hundred and something pounds of torque, but this servo is a friggin' beast. I will not buy a different servo than this. This 1210, I had on my Creighton for over a year, and I beat the snot out of that thing. And it's still going strong. Same thing with my Talon. So then I got the Mamba Monster 2 ESC with the um, Castle Field Link. So um, we could set it up for 7.4 volts. So Alright, um, that's it, YouTubers. That's the Axial build. I think uh, it's going to be pretty badass, you know, I uh, wanted something different, so I definitely got something different.